all the way to LL5 for cars that cost over $240,000. This year, the bracket contained two breathtaking entries, the Ferrari 430 Scuderia and the Mosler MT900S. The Ferrari 430 Scuderia sounds and feels so great that its quarter million plus price tag almost seems reasonable. The Whaling V8 revs to the stratosphere and the chassis stays securely planted at all times. We ran a few laps in cruise control and race mode where intervention comes on rather quickly to keep us in line. Once we felt more comfortable with the Ferrari, we turned off the system and our times got about a second quicker. Its solid structure and sure-footed suspension communicate clearly what's going on with the contact patches. And the automated manual gearbox makes shifting a no-brainer. The Ferrari might not have been the quickest car at Lightning Lab, but it's the one car that we all wished we could take home. And then there's the Mosler, a car so astoundingly fast that our amateur skills could not really fully exploit its capabilities. It handles quite well, predictable, glued down, and with outstanding brake feel. The 550 horsepower LS7 V8 propels this featherweight car like a cannon shot. The tremendous speed was somewhat unnerving. There are subtle bumps at the end of the front straight that sent the rear end skidding, causing us to instinctively feather the throttle. This surely cost us some time, so we pitted for a shock adjustment. After a strip of wheel weights fell off, balance problems made us park it for the rest of the day. Still, it's a remarkably well turned out car. It's like a street going IMSA prototype, and it's even quicker than its chart topping time suggests. Thanks for watching Lightning Lap 2008.